Have you ever had trouble identifying whether or not a specific frame of a video or audio file has been duplicated and used somewhere else on a project timeline inside the edit interface in DaVinci Resolve? Referring to this sample work in progress project inside version 18 of the software, note how my red playhead is placed at a particular point of this media file highlighted in purple, with a preview of the visual content of the frame appearing above. I wish to see if this particular still has been used in other parts of this particular project file, using a technique which will be helpful in navigating to points on your project file, where you can make adjustments to sections that utilise the same files from your media pool. Note how the red playhead does not necessarily need to be placed at the start of a media file in order for this following function to work. With the red playhead in place, I'm going to right click on the media file that this is currently positioned at and we'll go to select duplicated frames. And what is revealed in the new menu are points in the timeline where this particular media still has been deployed. The frame number which appears at the start of this particular menu for each of the frame locations displayed refers to the total number of frames that have been duplicated from your selected media file inside a separate edit on your timeline. So for example here, 60 frames within my purple highlighted edit have been duplicated at these other two points on my timeline. If I select the first option for example, the red playhead should then relocate to 12 seconds and 16 frames in from the start of the timeline to identify the duplicated still in my media project. Keeping the red playhead in place, I can right click on the same media file, choose duplicated frames once more, and select the other location on my edits timeline where this particular frame appears. Should a particular frame not be duplicated in any other part of your project, this should be indicated as shown alongside the duplicated frames option. I hope that technique is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.